Hello and welcome. This is EDC with Oaken and Kane. I am Oaken. Kane cannot be here with us today, uh, but what do we have today? So, we've got a sort of an unboxing. Um, I'll be honest, I did crack it open already, if you can't see here. Um, just to double check what it was. Um, uh, but yeah, haven't necessarily handled the knife at all. So this was uh, sent via the Apex Pass Around group. And last person that had was Lone Ranger, who will be uh, sitting right here for the remainder of the re review. Or uh, unboxing, shall we say. First impressions, I guess, is probably the most accurate. Uh, so what is this? This is uh, from QSP, which that is showing up real well. There we are. Um, and this is the Gannet, or Gannet, or Jeanette. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Um, you know, it's, it's up to you, it's up to you. Oh, hey, this is nice. They've got stats all right there. Maybe if we can get it to focus, you could read those. Yep, there we are. All that jazz. I do like that the they're doing some 154 cm. No complaints on that steel. So let's see. Let's get this out of the way. All right. So here it is. Ooh, love that. So that is, um, I think it's a raindrop carbon fiber. Uh, bolster there. Let's see if we can get it done. There we are. Um, and then Micarta for the back. I believe the back spacer is just G10. Deep carry pocket clip. 154 cm. And yeah, nice little front flipper. So let's uh, give it a flip. Ooh, not bad at all. Very nice looking uh, blade there. Just my camera uh, light there uh, but yeah nice looking blade ooh very 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 good action oh wow so yeah very easy to uh, front flip no error no issues there so you can do it that way yeah yep works that way Let's see if we can do it the left hand yeah and my left hand is virtually useless, so there we are, there we are. Um, let's do just like weight and uh, a quick a couple of size comparisons. All right, weight on this guy, 3.53 ounces. 3.53, let's see if it actually has it on the card here. Nope, don't have weight on there, so I don't have anything to compare it to offhand. Uh, but yeah, let's grab a uh, couple uh, friends out here and do a size comparison. Uh, so here we are next to the Protec Malibu. Definitely a favorite of a lot of people. Me being one of those people as well. Um, we got the... Spydeco Para 3 Lightweight. Get that a little more pivot to pivot. So a little bit longer uh, blade. PM2 here. In S110V. And the old Delica. And last but not least, a favorite of mine, the Three Rivers. Uh, manufacturing Neutron. All right. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, QSP has been doing a lot of great stuff lately. Um, we've got to check out the Platypus, which the review is coming up uh, soon on that one. Um, the, uh, the Penguin, I mean, ugh, I feel like a lot of people have been uh, talking about the Penguin lately. 
it really 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 is um a fa fantastic knife for the money um you know not everybody loves um how many ums can I say in one sentence? Uh, not uh, not everybody loves uh, D2. Not everybody loves a Warncliffe kind of style blade. Me personally, you know, both of those, no no big complaints. And uh, I, I really enjoyed the uh, uh, blue denim micarta on that. Thought that was really really nice. And since then, they've come out with quite a few quite a few more. But regardless of that. Uh, I do know that you can get this in a couple different variants as far as, I believe, a red carbon fiber and a natural micarta. And then I think there's one other one that, you know, if I prepared for any of these videos, um, I would be able to uh, tell you. But I believe there is one more. I think it is uh, that kind of black and red carbon fiber with a black micarta, but not a 100% sure. But, yeah, I think my only... Uh, complaints and gosh it's hard to even tell I'm gonna take it off camera for a second yeah so my my only kind of real complaint I'm seeing is right here on the blade let's, once again let's get it to focus and that would all be yeah you do have just a very subtle recurve very subtle recurve um, now, I really don't think that that's going to be enough of a recurve um, to have any sharpening issues with. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean to be honest, you could probably in a couple of sharp uh, in a couple of sharpens have it uh, completely worked out. But you know that's honestly one of my only complaints so far. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see as I get a little bit more time with it and. Uh, yeah, see, see what we think after uh, after get a little bit of use with it. But definitely first impressions. Uh, I do uh, really like this guy, as well as this is the exact variant I would have uh, snagged if I was scooping it up myself. And to be honest, after this, um, there is a chance I will, because uh, yeah, a lot to a lot to love here. Let's see if they've got. Yep, they do have some milling on the inside. Yeah, it looks like just on this side. I don't know how much you'll be able to see that. Mm. Oh yeah, there we are. You can kind of pick it uh, picks it up a little bit there, but yeah, really, really, really well done. Uh, definitely not too shabby. I'm pretty sure for the price of these guys, I think they're right around. Um, Oh, I want to say like 85, 90 bucks, somewhere in that range. Man, this camera is struggling to focus right now. Uh, but uh, anyway, but yeah, no, uh, definitely uh, pretty good bang for the buck. But uh, yeah, like I said, really curious to get a little more time with it and uh, see how it works out. Thanks for stopping by the porch, guys, but it's time to go. Have a good one.